At the end of the previous part, I told you I got a crazy idea of using ESP in HTML for a game, so apparently I was not that crazy, and it works. What you're seeing on the screen is the VR Valentine game by the IoT Makers Israel team, and I'll leave a link for it in the description. The game is based on the A-Frame, which is a JavaScript framework, and a VR and a 3D powered by the 3DS library. The game is served from an ESP8266 and it has a web socket that is open between the game and the joystick and every change I make in the joystick is registered in the game. Of course it all just didn't happen in one go, there were several steps. My first step was to set a web server sketch on the ESP that included events, which are a bit similar to sockets but shorter messages and only from the server to the page. I wanted to test the theory of sending commands, so I hooked up a button and added some lines of codes. And here is the fr this is how the first test looked like. The next step was to connect the joystick buttons. If you want to know how the button works, you can watch the first episode. Once the buttons were connected, I added a small joystick to control the direction of the camera. And here is the first video of how it worked. The next big thing which took me the longest was to figure out how to imitate the click of the mouse, which in the original game is how you collect the arts, so I can use the front trigger joystick button instead. I had to dig deep into the library itself and look on how it was done on the cursor section. It's all down to the canvas object within the scene object. And here is the video of my first test of this part of the code. As you all probably know, the SP has only one analog, and this is why you can see only the Y axis working and not the X axis work. On top of that, it seems that the reading from the analog slowed the web server really, really dramatically. After I was done getting everything to work, the event service was not working well and kept on disconnecting and was replaced with a web socket. I still get some errors, but it's way more stable this way. My next big task will be to find the right analog multiplexer. I did order a few that were recommended to me, hoping to get a better result than I get when the ESP is doing the analog read. I can, and then I can always go with the well-known MCP3008. I need to work out a game worthy of the joystick, so if you got any ideas and want to help out, please feel free to drop me a line in the comments. And if you haven't done it right now, please subscribe, give the thumbs up, and see you next time.